So hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm really excited to share with you guys, I finally got my first Instant Pot. And today I will be making our very first Instant Pot recipe, High Carb Hannah's Corn Chowder. For this recipe, you are going to need six, I think five, five or six, Yukon Gold potatoes, and of course, your corn. Um, it also calls for one chopped diced onion. You can add your diced onion directly to the Instant Pot. Also, three cloves of garlic, which you can add directly as well. It also calls for one chopped red bell pepper. Now, when you chop your bell pepper and potatoes, you're going to want to leave them to the side for a while. So I'm using one cup of vegetable broth with one cup of filtered water. Now in this recipe, you can use two cups of broth, or you can use two teaspoons of better than bouillon with two cups of water. I went half and half. I did one teaspoon of better than bouillon, one cup of veggie broth, and one cup of water, just to try the flavor. Also, you're gonna add two teaspoons of smoked paprika. You guys, this is the secret to this recipe for sure. Look at my little, uh, yes, I used a Sharpie. My mom gave me some smoked paprika from her home, and I had an, happened to have an empty paprika bottle that I had just finished, so I poured the smoked paprika into that one and relabeled it. Super convenient timing. Next, you're going to add one can of coconut milk. I chose this Thai Kitchen organic coconut milk. It made me nervous in the beginning because it was all thick, but it turned out to be okay. So we want to saute our onions and garlic in the Instant Pot, and this is one of the cool features of this um, a piece of equipment, you guys. You push saute, and then the pot's actually going to heat up. You keep the lid open uh, when you use the saute feature. You have your veggie stock slash water or mix, like I did, handy. You want it on hand because when your onions and garlic start to caramelize and get nice and brown, once in a while they will tend to stick to the bottom, and that's when you want to go ahead and just pour just a little bit of your broth in there to kind of loosen things up, stir it around, keep it from scorching. Now, I cook oil-free um, for the most part, not always, but I do try to do that for the most part just for healthy cooking, and um, it's possible to saute onions and garlic, you guys, without using oil. So give it a try. Um, yeah, just put it on the high heat. Even on a stovetop, this would work. So at this point, you're going to want to go ahead and add the rest of your ingredients um, while it's on saute mode. Once you're happy with the caramelization of your onions and garlic, pour all your veggie broth slash water into the pot. Go ahead and add your better than bouillon at this point if you are using that. And now add your chopped red pepper right along with your diced potatoes. Just throw them right into the pot and give it a good stir. And now the important part, you guys, adding the corn, which is going to make this corn chowder. There's the smoked paprika, two teaspoons. I told you guys how the coconut milk was a little, like, solid. I've always just used, like, refrigerated cartoned coconut milk, so it was my first time with that. So now you're going to put your lid on. You're going to hear it beep. You're going to turn your steam release valve from steaming to venting, which is going to close the pot and keep all that pressure in. You're going to hit manual. Mine counted, you, sometimes it counts down from 30. I had to count mine up from three because my pot was already hot from sauteing. And you're gonna set the timer for eight minutes. So eight minutes is all this food needs to cook. Now the Instant Pot will need some time to come to pressure and to build up the heat and the pressure. So while that's all happening, I'm gonna go ahead and make some rice. I have a little bit of leftover rice in the fridge, but I think I want some warm, hot, fresh, fluffy rice because this is my husband's first time having this recipe. So I wanna make sure it's absolutely perfect and delicious. So I think fresh rice for tonight. Okay, so there's only one minute left and I'm really excited. I kind of wanted to like catch it in the action. So bear with me here. I Don't worry, I won't make you wait the whole minute if it's a whole minute. Oh, wow. There it goes. All right, you guys. And it does give you a beeper indicating that the time of cooking is now up, it's complete. 
it's completely cooked. Yeah, you can see the float valve is still up, indicating that all this nice pressure is still in this pot. You cannot open the lid. When that um, float valve is up, the lid is in a locked position, which is a great safety feature of the iPod. So I, you can't open the lid yet. The steam has to release. We're going to let the steam relax, release naturally for 10 minutes. And the cool thing is I don't even really have to set a timer because um, this, this turns to warm. So now that the food has been cooked, it's on a keep warm function. And instead of counting down from the cook time, now it's actually going to start counting up. And it's going to count up to let us know however long we've been leaving our food being warm in the Instant Pot. However, like we said, we can't open the lid or serve the food or eat it until the steam has released. Now, you can do a natural release, which is what I'm doing for the first 10 minutes. If it's not fully done by then, I am going to hit that valve this way to venting and let it uh, force release. I've seen some people like force release it right away. But from what I've heard, I, I've seen a lot of people recommend letting it go natural for at least 10 minutes. I actually don't know the nuances of all that yet, or the hows or the whys. So this is my first time, you guys. I'm definitely gonna share everything that I learned with you guys as I learn it. Let's go ahead and do the fun part. We're going to force release the valve. Not force release makes it sound like it's all difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and take the spoon, turn this valve to venting. Ooh, that's so fun. And as you can hear, and I don't know if you can see it in this light. And you can see now that the steam is starting to slow down. It's not as forceful as it was before. And um, I just noticed that the house is actually starting to smell like corn chowder now for the first time. I didn't notice it um, when the pressure was building and everything was held inside. But now the house is just like filled with a wonderful smell of corn chowder and I'm so excited to eat. Here Are you goes. excited to eat your corn yeah, chowder? It smells so good. I'm your so excited too. Nose is all messed up. Her nose is broken. First, oh, it's done you all. The float valve is now in the down the down position which means that this lid will be allowed to open. It will be unlocked. I'm gonna get him some rice. Ready? Do you hear that? And you can store, they didn't hear the beat. You can store the lid right in the handle of the Instant Pot, which is really convenient so I don't make a mess. Oh my goodness, you guys, this looks really delicious. Oh, it's like thick and hearty. It looks really good. Now the next part is to blend it up. Now I don't have an immersion blender. So I am gonna have to use the food processor and just do like a little bit at a time. And I know everyone says you have to get an immersion blender when you have the Instapot and that's the next thing on the list for sure. I actually think this would be delicious just like this, but we're gonna do it the right way. So my husband actually wanted to try the recipe both chunky and blended. And so I'm, I used half the recipe whole and the other half blended. I loved mine blended, just like High Carb Hannah's recipe called for. Look at that deliciousness. Put some hot sauce and some hummus on it. It was so good. So I have to say, you guys, I think this might be our family's new favorite meal. My husband loved it. The girls loved it. Um, Tia, my big girl, had seconds. Thank you for joining me on my new series, The Road to Wellness, as I just get my health back after being off track for a while. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more happy, healthy videos. Have a great week.